hello and welcome to this power bi video in this video we are going to deal with our target table and try to create some dates around it and let's go ahead and look at our target table so our target table has this year quarter uh, order month and total uh, so what we are going to do we need to create a date here and end of the month data also we need uh, so what we are going to do we are going to do both these steps in uh, um, power query and we have already shown you in one video where we have discussed the uh, gems of power bi we have actually shown you how to do it in dex now here we are going to show you how to do it in app so we went into the data transformation we go to target table and now we are going to create a custom column so we say add custom column and we'll call it date we can also call it a start date now uh, we need first date of the month so 0 1 uh, 0 1 hyphen and then we need to append the month so we click here and get the month again and percent and we need another hyphen now here this year is in um, number format and we need it in text format so we have to actually uh, do number dot to text so we got number dot to text if we click it will give us double so we just go ahead and remove it and then we start our parenthesis something wrong here okay m percent is gone so that's why it's giving error so we got number dot text and we take year and here we take another year so this seems like working and now there's another function on top of which we'll apply we'll call it date dot from date from text is what we are looking forward and then we actually close the parenthesis open parenthesis close parenthesis and now we got a date actually and then go ahead and see it seems like good and then data type is not correct and you can actually go ahead and look here it's looking at any we can correct from there or we click here and then we go go ahead and see date and it seems like it is converted into date we can actually go ahead and look into this one seems correct now we need an end date and end date we have another function in date we uh, need an end date so we go to custom column and then we call it as end and date and in the date we have date dot month and date of the month we have date at date of the month and again uh, this is the power query which if you double click it actually types it twice and we have a date column we take it we close it so and date date of and end of the month and we simply got the end dates you can see this seems correct okay so we are done now we go ahead and say file close and apply and here uh, once it actually saves the changes we should be able to see two new columns which is date and end date so we can see date and end date and the, the format actually we can actually go to the column tools and uh, just uh, this actually has still came as a date so it came as a text so we can either change it here or we can actually go to transform data and mark this one also as a uh, date so we go back here and now we realize that this is also not date so we click here and make it as a date now this is date again close and apply let it change okay same format it means and now if you go to column tools you see this is date and this is date so we are done with this and now in the relationship tab right now we don't have a date table actually we want to relate sales as well as the target with the date table and then we will have some analysis done on top of that uh, thanks for watching this video thank you